Units of the Ukrainian Navy destroyed enemy ammunition depots near Mariupol, which was temporarily occupied by the enemy. Ukrainian Navy Press Service reported this. It is noted that recently units of the Navy launched a missile strike on important enemy ammunition depots near Mariupol identified by intelligence. According to confirmed data, the strike destroyed both the storage infrastructure and tons of ammunition that the invaders had been stockpiling for use on Ukrainian territory, the report states. The naval forces of the armed forces of Ukraine, together with units of other components of the defense forces, continue to destroy the enemy on land, at sea, and in the air. Radio Liberty publishes satellite images showing the aftermath of fires and ammunition detonations in three different locations in the vicinity of Mariupol. One of the depots, like those recently struck by the Ukrainian armed forces in Russia's Voronezh region, was located in a forest. Some of the strikes, according to photographs and eyewitness accounts, were carried out on Friday, September 13. Others, on the night from Sunday to Monday, September 16. Photos of the aftermath of one of them, near the village of Globoko, taken on the ground, were published by Petro Andriyashenko, an advisor to the Ukrainian mayor of Mariupol. On Tuesday, the Ukrainian Navy claimed responsibility for these strikes. If Britain allows Ukraine to use Storm Shadow missiles, the Ukrainian military will be able to strike 14 airfields on Russian territory, The Times reports. The publication published a map of Russia, which shows several strategically important objects that, in theory, British long-range missiles could reach. Journalists noted that if restrictions on the use of Storm Shadow are lifted from Kiev, the radius of destruction will increase by 250 kilometers into Russian territory. In this case, 14 airfields will become potential targets, including Shaikovka in the Kaluga region. In addition, Ukrainian military personnel will be able to attack one oil refinery and the headquarters of the Southern Military District, located in Rostov-on-Don, the publication's article says. On Saturday, September 14, the leader of the British Heritage Party, David Curtin, warned on the social network X about threats to the West due to plans to allow the Ukrainian army to strike deep into Russia. The politician expressed his concern against the backdrop of a statement by Russian President Vladimir Putin. The head of the Russian state stated that if Ukraine is allowed to strike Russia with long-range weapons, this will change the meaning of the conflict and will mean that NATO countries are fighting with the Russian Federation. Recall, President Volodymyr Zelensky urged Western leaders to overcome the fear of making strong, objectively necessary decisions. He said, only decisiveness can bring a just end to this war. It is decisiveness that most effectively protects against terror. Referring directly to Storm Shadow, he added, the only way to counter this terror is through a systemic solution, long-range capabilities to destroy Russian military aviation at its bases.